What up friends, Liron here. Thank you for joining me in another video. Today, I wanna talk to you about quantity over quality. So as I said, today I want to talk about quantity over quality and what do I mean by that? Okay, what I'm going to do is define what I call quality, what I call quantity and why I think in the very beginning it's dangerous to put too much importance on quality but it's so rewarding to put more importance on quantity. Okay, so let's get started. Quality um, in my perception is patience, it's time, it's thought it's effort, it's focus. Quality means you actually devote yourself to the art you make fully. You fully devote yourself and here's the catch. You allow yourself a lot of time to think, to ponder, to plan, all of that good stuff, which leads ultimately to very good art. No doubt about that. A few days ago I did a painting and I really allowed myself to plan it out to be very thorough, all of that good stuff, and it turned out much better than another version I did of that very same painting that I didn't put as much effort and planning into. That's quality. Let's talk about quantity. Quantity to me is lack of thought, is speed, is repetition, is doing, 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 not thinking too much, just doing, and also focus, just like quality. Quantity also has focus, okay? When you're doing stuff from a quantity perspective, you don't judge yourself, you don't judge your art, you don't judge your result. You simply accept it immediately and move on to the next one. So if you do an exercise, you do the exercise, you just fill in a whole page with lines, you practice your brush stroke techniques, all of that. Or you do uh, an exercise for trying to match the color you see or you do an exercise in sketching, or you do an exercise in whatever it is, you don't care too much about the result. Uh, you're just like, hmm, done, next, hmm, done, next. Kind of like a robot, actually. So that's very interesting. Now, don't get me wrong. Quality is very important. It's just important to make good art. It's important to make good music. It's important to make good paintings. It's important to learn how to do this and how to do that properly. But this is true only if it's not crippling you. Now, a lot of people, when they just get started, are crippled by the whole part of quality. For example, the video I did on the sketchbook. A lot of people are afraid to put in that first sketch because they're afraid that it won't be perfect and they want to learn all there is to learn before they even start sketching in their sketchbook. So this is a very dangerous type of focus on quality. Okay, and what I tell you is this, in the beginning, it is super beneficial to change your focus from quantity, from quality, sorry, to quantity, and focusing more on actually doing, and trusting your body, and trusting your hands, and trusting your brain to learn. Okay, you make a painting, you go at it, you just do it, you shut down the, the, th the overthinking part of the brain, you do it kind of like a robot, and then when you're done, you just go ahead and make another one, and another one, and another one. And this is what I feel about quantity now. In the beginning, when you focus on quantity, you get the experience. Even if you think that the painting or the sketch is not good, you are still getting the experience. So why not get it this fast instead of like taking it all this time, okay? So if that's like, I don't know, 200 hours, and that's like, a thousand hours, why not get it in 200 hours? You see what I mean? Because by doing more and more and fast, you're actually learning. Now, of course, don't, don't, don't start, you know, sketching like this and going on to the next page. This is not good. What's that? Who does that? But anyway, this is not good. What I'm saying is just don't be too worried about whatever is here and just move on, flip the page and move on to the next one, okay? So, in the beginning, it's very, very, very beneficial to focus on quantity, in my opinion. Just my two cents. Um, but with time, quality will come. It will show up inevitably because you will start seeing your weaknesses. You, you will start feeling what you're not so good at. You will understand that you really suck at drawing and you really suck at choosing your colors and everything looks messy and slowly you'll be like, damn, I want to get better at this. And then you will focus more on this, whatever this may be. Okay. 
So quality will come, but you need to get that quantity, you need to get that experience. And whether you like your results or not, your brain is learning, your hands are learning, your eyes are learning, you're going through a learning curve, okay? So don't get too caught up, please, 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 in the beginning on those little uh, details and the perfectionism that comes with focusing too much on the quality. Um, yeah, and stop filtering stuff, you know, just let it out when you practice, when you create even, always, okay? So I hope this message is clear to you. I know it's a bit woo-woo, uh, but hopefully you understand where I'm getting with this. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. If you have uh, any an opinion you want to express, if you want to tell me your thoughts on this, if you think I'm totally wrong and like, what the hell is he talking about? Let me know in a comment below. And this is it. I want to thank you so much because I, I hit 5,000 followers, which is crazy. Uh, so thank you each and every one of you 5,000 followers. Let's make it 10,000. Um, I actually have a crazy goal by the end of the year. Uh, I don't know if I'm even there to say it, but maybe I'll keep it to myself for now. But yeah, really ambitious. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me, subscribe here, follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, and I will see you again tomorrow.